Well, I'd like to welcome you all to the listening room tonight. Please give a round of applause. Thank you. Uh, we're broadcasting live here from Cold Spring, New York. It's going out on the internet and it's going out on live radio, Cold Spring Radio. And uh, to our viewers out there, hello. We're going to give a round of applause to people that are watching. Okay. We've got a great show tonight. Um, I'm Ken Veltz. I'm your host of this thing, and thank you for all coming out. Uh, we've got some great uh, surprises coming a little bit through the night. I'll tell you about some exciting things that are developing. And But for now, I'm going to sing you a song with my wife, Jeannie, and then we're going to call our first round out, all right? All right. Uh, this is a song uh, for when you're, like, down and out and life is treating you pretty crappy and uh, you just want to give up a lot of bad stuff's going on. Uh, it's always good to just go in the mirror and, and smile at yourself. And uh, sometimes it's the hardest thing in the world to do is just to smile at yourself. But, you know, the way I look at it, if you can't smile at yourself, why do you expect others to smile at you, right? So, Because you draw that smile. That smile is a good thing. So we'll try this out on you, and then we'll call our round out, all right? Hello, welcome to the listening room. Blisters on your feet in your new shoes. And calculating ways that you will lose. Brand new faces You've been here before While old shoelaces Keep pulling you back Through a safe door Smile at yourself At least once a day Look in your own eyes And say Yeah, you're gonna make it now tell somebody something good's coming your way. You can smile, that's all right. <laughs> An umbrella would be nice, but you're out of cash. No one knows the life that you have had. There's always a heartache that hurts so much more And always a story that makes you feel grateful to live yours Smile at yourself at least once a day Look in your own eyes and see Yeah, you're gonna make it Now tell somebody Something good's coming your way Yeah, something good's coming your way Take a trip beyond all that's you Don't need a magic wand A simple yes will do But you've got to want it more than yourself and more than the pity you draw as you talk about your hell smile at yourself at least once a day oh, look in your own eyes and see yeah you're gonna make it now tell somebody something good's coming your way Here, smile at yourself at least once a day look in your own eyes and say oh just believe it and it will grow stronger because you can't take it any longer yeah you're gonna make it now tell somebody Something good's coming your way. 
Something good's coming your way. Something good's coming. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Again, welcome to the listening room. We got an incredible round here. I'm going to stand up here and come on, some people, come on in. We got more people filling in right now. And we're going to call our first round in at the listening room. We have two rounds, three writers in each round. And we're going to call in right now. Please give her a round of applause. Carla Springer. <laughs> we got new. Let me get over here. And we got new to the listening room stage. Don Sparks is here tonight. Please. <laughs> Jeannie are the coolest people on the planet. <laughs> As you can imagine, being involved with a songwriter, sometimes your everyday life gets put into a song when they'd rather it wasn't. <laughs> and uh, this song came about when my husband just called to say he was coming home late from work. Wasn't a big deal, but I have a really active imagination, so I thought maybe he was working late with some cute young woman in the office. So I wrote this song for him, though he's really innocent of all charges. <laughs> we think. <laughs> Baby, can you tell me where you've been tonight? I know you said you worked late. Whoa, hello. We're going to start this over. <laughs> you see, I'm not uh... Okay, I'm going to take the strap off. I'm <laughs> Yes, it helps if you start with the right chord. <laughs> These are professionals. I'm, a, yeah, we didn't. I'm an amateur. <laughs> I thought it sounded funny. I couldn't get to the next chord. Baby, can you tell me where you've been tonight? I know you said you were late, but it's after midnight. What exactly were you doing?
great to be here. I'm really honored to be here. It's a great show. And, uh, all right. This is a good uh, song for your, what are those? That's a cajon? What is that? Let it rip, man. Where are you? Oh, I'm trying to figure this out how you like it. I don't know. Well, what do you think I'm doing, man? I think <laughs> How long do I have to vamp here? <laughs> oh. Now I feel at home. Good. Welcome to the You can come in on the second verse if you want. There we go. There used to be coffee. Used to be cream. Omar Gaddafi, an American dream. There used to be children in rock and roll bands. The builders were building, our watches had a hand. sun came around each day I swear it was grinning Moon took a turn at night To smile like a friend That was all before She ended our beginning And left me standing At the start of the end There used to be cable With heads out with tar We ate at the table I owned a piece of the rock we go see a movie Or maybe John Prime We used to say groovy Instead of so fine sun came around each day I swear it was grinning moon took a turn at night to smile like a friend but that was all before she ended our beginner and left me standing at the start of the end Bring it down, little Ken. There used to be highways with pink Cadillacs. We used to eat pizza delivered by fax. And you could see Elvis long after he died. We called him the Pelvis. His hound dog cried The sun came around each day I swear it was grinning The moon took a turn at night To smile like a friend But that was all before She ended our beginner And left me standing at the start of the end. The start of the end. The start of the end. some time in New York City this week. Not a lot. It's only been a few days, so I'm not complaining. Anybody here from New York City? New York City? No. <laughs> Good. Lucky you. <laughs> well, I'm just living there for the week, so who knows. This song was inspired by a time when I lived there regularly. It's called The Truth About Tomorrow. The 
sun is in rising quite early enough there's a river of people just standing in line standing in line and waiting and smiling and talking and hoping the sun gonna shine when they get ready they open the door open the window rich and poor first floor please you gotta get ready you gotta get there you gotta look nice gotta fix your hair you gotta wear nice shoes a nice suit and tie just to impress and you don't know why but i'm gonna be there too something to do here we are and I want to thank you I want to know you and I want to show you here we are and who knows where it's gonna lead tomorrow Taxi coming, she crosses the street and takes a seat. But although it ain't easy, she doesn't complain. She skips on the sidewalk, even in the rain. Gives her umbrella to someone to need. I watched her do that again and again. Places a flower by the parking ticket on a stranger's car. Here we are. And I want to. Heard, but the smallest voice is still inside. Gotta give something to this world. Gotta get up and enjoy the ride. Gotta give something to this world. Cause this is it. The time is now. Oh, nobody's gonna show us how. And that's the truth. That's the truth about tomorrow. an awesome round coming up right now. I want to introduce Andy Stack. Come on out, brother. Andy Stack, Jake Holmes, and Montgomery Delaney. Yeah, give it up. <laughs> Old guys in the middle. Lucky Pierre. I think it's more like old guys on the right. Ah, uh, <laughs> I'm older than you are. This is a round that I've been actually kind of manipulating in my manipulating in my head for a long time. The three of you. I just think this is an outrageous blend of artistry and technique. You're gonna see what I mean. It's, uh, I'm asking Andy to start things out, and Ben, just give an applause for this round again. Yeah. Up on as close oh, to that okay. mic as possible. All right. Yeah. All right, I'm totally scared. <laughs> like this guitar? It's all right. I got it from a friend who quit music. Said you can have it. I didn't even pay for it. song about uh, quitting your job, not working for anybody else. 
Kicked around on my way downtown, wondering how you got the best of me. I guess you got so close that it made it hard to see. Like a desperate dog in a time of need, I was running right to your feet. You may have got a piece of me, but I will never admit defeat. You can build your house, parade around, while others do the work for you. And then cash in while they're starving. I won't be that kind of fool. I won't be that kind of fool. You paid me a buck for a job you charged some sucker ten bucks to do. I'm gonna find that man and tell him five bucks gets the job done better than you. I see your fear of what I might be if I finally believe in myself. You surround yourself with an entourage, but I don't need nobody else. And you can build your house and parade around, still others do the work for you. Then cash in while they're starving. I won't be that kind of fool. I won't be that kind of fool. No. Don't need no Buick, no Mercedes Benz, this old telephone van will do. I've had enough, I'm gonna try my luck out the door in my own walking shoes. Yes, you can build your house and parade around while others do the work for you. And then cash in while they're starving, I won't be that kind of fool. I won't be that kind of fool. I won't be that kind of fool. Thank you, Stan. Yeah, brother. You got a cosica? Is that a cosica you got? Ah, it's cosicas. These are so. Oh, look at those little guys. You should never take a maracas to dry clean. So my wife is a green, uh, a, a, she's a green fundamentalist Luddite. And, uh, and she, yeah, it is. It's complicated and it has its moments. But, you know, for this Christmas, she really would have probably get, want, wanted to get me a rototiller. But um, instead... Uh, she went against all her beliefs and got me this completely irrelevant gift, an iPad. Whoa. So uh, useless, totally useless. <laughs> all you can do is play with it. <laughs> so what I decided to do was since she showed such love and consideration, I decided that I would try to put it to use. And since she is a Luddite and a green person, I thought I would create some sort of a cautionary tale this is new to me, too. <laughs> so this piece is called, well, th this is a cautionary tale about the future. And those of us who aren't going to pay attention to the future are going to find this future, I think. So uh, I'd like to dedicate this to um, a Andy. <laughs> Andy, our friend from the New York Times. Um, OK.
From the top of the Sarah Palin Freedom Tower, I gaze out at rolling land-filled hills that rise up into the ozone mists with their cadmium slopes and their oily wisps of metallic greens and amethysts. The surf, thick with crude and plastic spoon, plops in a muffled splash by a bubbling detergent lagoon and a waving field of Monsanto genetically engineered succotash. <laughs> Anthropogenic pathogens waft through the airborne particulates as concrete corrodes under smog episodes and haze inversion contaminants. <laughs> Hefty bags flutter on high tension wires as the last woodlands are being clear cut to reduce the dangers of forest fires. On this lazy, hazy December summer, a suicide Prius broadsides a Hummer. <laughs> An armored car pizza delivery delivers pizza to a green party hideout where an old gorista huddles in an abandoned porno booth watching bootleg copy of Inconvenient Truth. <laughs> to the north of the city, on higher ground, where the dusty date palms can be found on the blowing gray sands of Central Park's great lawn, a loudspeaker plays songs of extinct avifauna. <laughs> a young couple picnic in high-fashion hazmats, <laughs> cheerfully grilling their organic house rats. <laughs> An, a mounted policeman on his dromedary gives um, some Al-Qaeda tourists directions to the New York public borders and noble privatized public library. <laughs> okay, so, okay, here's how it goes. Go, you, you go down two blocks, right? You go down there, you go past two Starbucks, okay? Then you're going to go down a block. You're going to pass three more Starbucks. <laughs> so, um, all right. So then, uh, let's see. It's the fourth Starbucks. <laughs> the one with the uh, the lions out front. You go up the stairs, <laughs> and it's uh, it's a little room there behind the cappuccino machine. At the top of the, McWal the great McWalmart Cathedral, <laughs> where fundamentalist shoppers are called daily to shop, <laughs> the guardians of Sam are exchanging fire with an apparent off-duty city cop as his bullet-ridden body plunges from the top of the Golden Arch steeple. We can hear him scream this is not a dream. Ballpark Franks are made of people. Inviting me. It was, it was fun. Good night, everyone. Good night, everyone. Just, just go. That was absolutely brilliant, Jake. Absolutely brilliant. You were, I've heard you say some brilliant things before, but that was even brillianter. So I wrote this silly song, and it's a sing along. And you have to sing because if you don't, it's a violation of Section 14B of the United States Folk Code. <laughs> now, I, Ken didn't tell you this, but I'm, I'm, I'm a retired cop, and I'm, I'm, a, I'm a lawyer, trial lawyer. Not just a trial lawyer, I'm a damn fine trial lawyer. <laughs> uh, Laub Delaney, LLP, 
www.justice1.com. So if any of you get hit by a UPS truck in front of 10 Catholic priests, witnesses, just give me a call. <laughs> right. Your part three times after every verse is, this is, it's funny because this is written by, by a woman who lives in Cold Spring. And uh, your part goes, she goes to the doctor and Les comes back. Kathy Cooper hypochondriac. Can you do it? Ready? <laughs> Any hypochondriacs in this? It's a true story, actually. You ready? She goes to the doctor and Les comes back. Kathy Cooper hypochondriac. I think you got it. Okay. I'm going to play this very sad song for you now. Goes to the doctor every day. Doctor listens what she's got to say. Doctor doesn't want to upset her. He takes something out so she'll feel better. <laughs> he puts the pieces in a mason jar so Kathy Cooper knows what they are. To show her family when she gets back. Kathy Cooper, Apple County. Three times, here we go. She goes to the doctor, let's come back. Kathy Cooper, Apple County. She goes to the doctor, let's come back. Kathy Cooper, Apple County. She goes to the doctor, let's come back. Kathy Cooper, Apple County. Very sad. We weren't that good. Little, little hoot, here we go. She lost 30 pounds in the last two years. Ooh, no. Too much surgery, the doctor fears. Oh. When she goes to see him again, what? He's going to have to put some stuff back in. Ah. He's going to take the pieces from the mason jars, put them back where they were before. She'll get a break on the usual fee. Labor only. Everybody, parts are free. Parts are free, I tell you. Ready? She goes to the doctor, let's come back. Kathy Cooper, hypochondriac. She goes to the doctor, let's come back. Kathy Cooper, hypochondriac. She goes to the doctor, let's come back. Kathy Cooper, hypochondriac. Yeah. Yeah, the lady. Thank you. Yeah. Woo hoo. Montgomery, the lady. Jay Combs. And Andy Staff. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, this was a great night, great round. Just, just amazing, guys. I want to remind you that next month on the 16th,
We have another great, great show. And the following week, that next Wednesday the 23rd, that's going to be the American Idol show and also with the young kids playing. So please come back and support that. Thank you for being here.